Oh, that looks a bit better. Hey guys, it's Pamela. So today I am back with another video. So it's the 1st of January 2019. Um, I wanted to get in the last video before I actually hit the bed. Um, so I'm going to talk about my Doodlebug planner today. So, um, for you guys that don't know, this is Doodlebug. <laughs> um, this is my planner this year. Last year I started with a happy planner, a classic size. Um, and I wasn't, I was good with it like for three months. It was fine, but I felt like it was a bit of a chore in the end that I had to decorate it and stuff like that. And then I found out that I wasn't writing in most of it because there wasn't a lot to do during the weekdays because mainly I just go to work and come home and do crafting and stuff like that. So I wanted somewhere... So I went on a lot of craft, not crafting groups, but planner groups on Facebook and then afterwards posting my story and reading other ladies' stories. Someone said to me, TN might suit you better. And I was like, what's a TN? And then I read about it and she's like, it's these little books that you you can like stack inside of a planner and you can take them out when you're not using them or you can add more or add less um you can you don't have to plan with them you can write in them they're just like a little exercise book and stuff like that and i went on to research a little bit about it and then i was like oh yeah this 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 could suit me um and then i was watching a video there was a convention crafting convention over in america and i was watching this video um, because I was wanting to see the We Are Memory Keepers new stuff and some lady was showing Doodlebug and I was like, wait, Doodlebug? What, what are they releasing? And so when I went and watched the Doodlebug one, they had all these planners and I was like, oh my God, I fell in love instantly with this polka dot one and I had to message a couple of sellers here in Australia to see if they were going to get them. Otherwise, I would have to import it myself from America. But luckily for me, um, there was a washi gang um got these in and i ordered it straight away um and i think i don't know if she sold out but she added more to her store so they're so adorable though i just love it, it reminds me of like cotton candy or cupcakes or ice creams or everything magical um so i wanted a planner that was pretty much like my personality or something that i was going to be happy to go in and make it my own so this is what i've done i've made it my own so i've just started this so i haven't actually finished setting it up yet so please excuse my messy messy planner but first of all um i just wanted to say i don't have any charms at the moment um i forgot to order some but i do have this it's a pin and I got it from scrapbook.com and it's by doodlebug it was released specially for scrapbook.com and it says I love crafting because as you guys know if you've watched my channel I do do a lot of crafting I have never done a video yet actually in my goals for this year I do want to do a few um, live videos on um, YouTube and I want to actually do some crafting demonstrations as well so hopefully I can do that this year as well. Something to work on later on. So I don't have any charms, but I did get a little bit of um, ribbon and just attach that onto the ribbon and then just attached it onto my book for the time being until I can get some funky little charms. So let's have a look inside it. Like I said, it's not fully 100% set up. I only just did start it today, but we will get there. So I got a sprocket as you can probably if you've watched my other videos i got a sprocket for christmas and i have just done that light's really bad it shows up everything i have printed a photo of my sons when they were little this is my favorite photo of them um my younger one was always stubborn my older one always wanted a photo of his brother and he was being a goofy boy so and then i've just got like little bits of paper that oh, the ice cream head has moved again <laughs> and i got a little bit of um, scrapbooking paper that I cut off that I just stuck in there for the time being and my hair's there and then I got these cool little jelly clips by um, Doodlebug as well and I've also put in a gift card that I have not used yet um, but I will save it for a later day so the first book you will see um, is the ice cream fun one I don't know why I did that I just liked it so um, all of this obviously is from doodlebug except the little bling stickers that's 
from a shop here in Australia. This is my first page. So I put a photo of myself to remind myself that I'm beautiful. <laughs> Well, I don't I don't often tell myself I always put myself down. Um, be different because I am a little bit different. So my name on the bottom there and then just 2019 of the year and then I just started um setting it up. As you can see, this is like the monthly view, which is really good for me because as you can see I only ever write like one thing. Sometimes I work my working hours down only because I've had a day off so I'll forget during the week. And then I write um like I usually just write tend to write one thing like back to school shopping, day for work, the kids are going back to school there. Um so I only ever write one thing as you can see. Um, so these these kind of booklets is good for me because I don't want to do a weekly plan. I don't want to plan like every page a different week because it's just too much. So I just wanted something that was neat and cool. And so you just got a month per page. Um, it gives you a little bit of room up the top and down the side. So as you can see in, in March, I've got note to self and I'm going to write some notes down there because it is my son's birthday over there. So we'll be playing the birthday party. And then April looks like this because it's my birthday here and it's Good Friday and my wedding anniversary on Good Friday. Um, and then this is my little puppy girl. She'll be her first birthday there. And then I've got Remember and I've got some spaces down there, but I haven't set up the rest yet. But And then at the back, <clears throat> once you finish your thing, it's got like, gives you one, two, three, one, one, two, three, three extra, pa well, three and a bit extra pages to write things down. And it's just things I want to achieve. Like I want to um, use my Christmas crafting items to make sure I do a DIY Christmas this year. Because I do fall a little bit behind. I end up buying a few gifts when I should have been making them. And then to make more plans and to do and to stick to them. So I'm going to make a lot more plans this year and try to stick to them. So... That is that. And then I had to stick a sticker there because I closed the book without realising the love hearts were dry and it sort of left a mark there. Not to worry. And then the back of the book looks like this only because silly me didn't look at the book when I was decorating it and this was actually upside down on this side. And when I opened it, I went, when I opened it, I'm like, hang on why is all the writing upside down on the bottom and I'm like oh my god I did it the wrong way so there's glue all on this back so I've just cut out a bit of a um a bit of sheet of um doodlebug paper in the ice cream and put ice cream on there a little note so it matches in with this one pretty well so then my next book I've got here it's got happy on that and I did soda drinks because I, I thought that this was going to be my um just my TV shows, what I want to watch, but then I realised I don't have that many TV shows. Like, I do watch a lot of TV shows, but not enough to fill up a whole entire book's worth. That would be, like, years and years and years. So I just wrote happy on this one and put a little um, soda bottles here. I haven't, like I said, I haven't really finished it. But this is going to be my list book. And as you can see at the back, I have already like Pamela's wish list. I only have one item on there. There's a couple more. But like I said, I haven't finished it yet. And then my last book I have in here is Do Not Worry, Be Happy. And it is my recipe book because I thought donuts and recipes, I don't know. But it's cute anyway. So I'll show you what it looks like. So I've used my sprocket to print out some photos of some of the recipes I made here. But like I, like I said, it's not 100% finished yet. So I haven't got all the other photos of this. So I've got um, chocolate and cherry trifle. I've got caramel mug cake and custard cookies. I have egg salad and pizza base. And that is all I've had so far. And then at the back I've got, obviously, it's got like the little doodle bug sign there and then I've got a pen that I got in a set I thought it was really appropriate it's light pink and then it's got like it's like looks like rocks inside of them I thought that that was really appropriate for this planner and then I've just added a few jelly clips on here because I haven't used them and I didn't want to keep them and I've got nothing in there so far so that is my planner for 2019 obviously I haven't set it up properly yet 
um, I will find the time during the week because it is going to be quite a hot week here where I'm in Australia. I think it's like 42 on Thursday, so definitely a time once I come home from work to sit down and just do some planning under the air conditioning. But this is what I'm going to leave you off with tonight. I hope you like it. If you are interested in doing a TN or something similar, this is a very wonderful little um, book. I can't give you any measurements. I don't know about sizes. Every time someone mentions, oh, it's a B, it's a B6 or it's a it's a standard size or this or that. I have no clue what they're talking about. But all I know is um, this is a doodlebug planner. So thank you for watching. I will try to make a video later on of me actually finishing at a table. I'm out of here to go get some sleep. But thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day. If you haven't already, please make, sh make sure you subscribe, like, and comment if you want to. And I will catch you next time. Bye.